Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. My name is Joanne. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be reviewing Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. This is the seventh film in the Mission Impossible franchise. This is part one of two, so uh, there's an eighth coming, which I don't understand why they say uh they break these movies into two or three when just say this is movie seven and then the next one's gonna be movie eight anyways dead reckoning is part one um and then mission impossible eight which i don't know what they're gonna call it is gonna come out eventually sometimes some someday the movie stars tom cruise as ethan hunt and this is the movie that uh, they were having so many issues because they were filming during the pandemic and Tom Cruise was caught screaming at, this, at the crew because they weren't really standing six feet apart, I think it was. I'm going to try to find the, the video and insert it here. We are creating thousands of jobs, you I don't ever want to see it again. Ever. And if you don't do it, you're fired. And I see you do it again, you're gone. But there was so much drama with this movie because it got delayed a bunch of times. They didn't want to release it during the pandemic. Um, so finally they released it and then Tom Cruise was upset because he's only getting IMAX for one weekend because next weekend, Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer, I think it is. I don't know. Yeah, Oppenheimer. I think that's the name. That's coming out next weekend, and that's gonna be on IMAX. So he was really annoyed at that, that he only has the weekend for this. I mean, he only has one weekend to like cash in on Mission Impossible. Anyways, I saw it on Thursday night, and I loved the movie. It was so good. Oh yeah, this is also the movie where you, if you saw Tom Cruise, Lucky, say hi, hi. Um, the movie, he's like jumping off a cliff. This man is on, I think he's 60, 61, and he's doing all these crazy stunts. He does all the stunts by himself. He jumped off this cliff. It was insane. It is day one of principal photography, and we are starting in classic mission form with the biggest stunt in the film. sequences are crazy there's this one sequence in the train where I'm not gonna spoil the movie but they have to go from like one car into the next before the train um, crashes into I'm not gonna say oh it's into a river somewhere I don't rem um, I don't want to spoil the movie I'm really bad at spoiling movies I'm trying my best <laughs> But there's this sequence where uh, the train um, is like falling off a, um, uh, what do you call that, a bridge, oh my goodness, um, and they have to go from like one cart into the other as they are, it's, it's insane. I wonder if they did that, if he did that by himself, I'm pretty sure it was all him. Two, one. Everything you are seeing 
in this spectacular train sequence is done to invest the audience in these characters. Hang on! Mission Impossible. There's action from the beginning to end, and surprisingly, it's really funny. They have a lot of jet, like organic. I mean, I'm sure it wasn't organic, it was on the script, but it just felt organic, funny moments that you wouldn't find in other, um, like, um, action movies, which I really liked. I was laughing and I was on the edge of my seat throughout all th three hours of the movie. The movie is two hours and 45 minutes, but including previews, you're going to be there for three hours. That's the only thing. <laughs> That's the only thing. Um, I didn't like that it was too long. But actually, you don't really feel, I didn't really feel the two hours, the two hours and 45 minutes. I thought um, Tom Cruise was great. I really enjoyed all the action sequences. It was a good balance of humor and suspense and action. Uh, and just to tell you the basic story of the film. Tom Cruise has to find a key that uh, resets this algorithm which i was thinking about this is like the second movie of an algorithm that kind of evolved and uh took over itself first it was uh what, what do you call this movie megan and now this algorithm in mission impossible uh it's called the entity um the main computer that kind of that could shut it down or like rewrite it to its original code is inside a submarine so the second movie the second part of Dead Reckoning I believe is gonna we're gonna go into the submarine which had me thinking is Tom Cruise gonna try to go into the deep ocean and try to film this his movies I hope not anyways I really enjoy um, Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning. I thought it was the best action movie of the year so far. I watch, um, what do you call it, uh, X, Fast and Furious X, and you know, that was over the top as per usual. So I enjoy Mission Impossible a little more than I did Fast X. I give uh, Mission Impossible three and a half stars overall you know I think the length it was just there was like a maybe five minutes that kind of dragged even if you took those five minutes away it still would have been like a three hour I mean a two hour and 40 minute movie so it's whatever so if you're a fan of the franchise if you're a fan of Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning I highly recommend um, Mission Impossible 7 it's a lot of fun just to watch Tom Cruise do these crazy stunts. This man is in his 60s doing wild things. Kudos to him. And he said he's going to be doing Mission Impossible movies until he's 80. So get ready for fat. I mean, for I was going to say Fast and the Furious. Get ready for uh, Mission Impossible 17 with Tom Cruise at 87. Anyways, that is my review for Mission Impossible 7, Dead Reckoning. I highly recommend it. I give it three and a half stars. Uh, it's full of action, suspense, and comedy. There's a lot of funny moments. Oh, and I really like the girl. What's her name? Let me see. Yes, Hayley Atwell, who plays this thief that she kind of has to team up with Tom Cruise. And he also has one of the guardians of the galaxy, Palm Clementif. I'm sorry, Palm, if I messed up your last name. But she was also really good. She plays like this silent assassin that's trying to get, um, that's trying to catch Tom Cruise. I like her character a lot, and she barely said a word, but she she had so she has so much screen presence that I liked her. Anyways. I really loved Mission Impossible 7. I highly recommend it, like I already said. It's a lot of fun. And if you're a fan of Tom Cruise, if you're a fan of uh, Mission Impossible, you're going to love that reckoning. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, comment down below, and, and tell me if you're going to watch that reckoning, if you saw it already, your thoughts, etc., etc. 
I post videos every week, so I hope you can come back for my next video next week. Have a great day or night, wherever you are in the world.